We do not want to console mothers, parents, community members who have lost at the cause of senseless shootings. But unfortunately, that is the new reality for families of two people who died this week from gun violence in Forsyth County. Now, county leaders want the violence to stop. They told WFMY News to Isadori Chumba they need the community's help to get to the bottom of the crimes. That's right. Leaders came together in Winston-Salem today to decry the deadly gun violence in the community in the past two months. Now, they say 13 people were shot in total. Two of those victims died. Now, police say despite the fact that there were dozens of people at the scene, very few are saying anything. Take the May 18 shooting on Cody Drive, for instance. Police say up to 300 people were at a cookout there when gunfire erupted. Six people were shot, two people were killed, but police say only two people agreed to help them with the investigation. Community leaders say that's not good enough. Don't subscribe to the betrayal of silence. If you saw something, say something. If you're not comfortable with calling the police department or the DA's office or the sheriff's office, call the minister's conference. There are two families in our community that instead of preparing for Memorial Day holiday, they're planning to attend funerals. Now, state and federal investigators are also assisting police with the investigation. There is now a $10,000 Crime Stopper reward for tips that lead to any arrest.